Wow, I haven't played this game in, what, a week or something? Okay, that sounds fine. Let's do a quick mic test. Okay, I can mute my stream, I have this thing to myself. Alright, perfect. Alright, so the goal here is to break down as much as I do in any percent. Um, I will point out that everything that I'm about to show and explain is mainly done on the series console, Series S or Series X, the 60 FPS patch, boost, thing. Yeah, I'm not very good at this, but I'm at least going to try to explain everything. To the best of my abilities, break down a lot of stuff. I'll also be going, um, I might explain Phantom Mode at the same time while doing the Infinite XP glitch. But, we'll see how that goes. But keep in mind, this is my quote-unquote route. I always kind of just like... If, if I miss a medal somewhere, I always adjust. I'll try go through as much of that as I can. But I'll also be pointing out a lot of um, just stuff that you would need to know. If you're looking to get into any percent or any sort of category for this game. But all medals has mission chains. Yeah. Alright, so first things first. You want to be playing Sonic Unleashed. No cutscene is important. We've played this game before. Uh, tutorial, pretty simple. Just go fast. Ready? For the... For the hub stages, the hub worlds with the NPCs in it, you will have the moon metal spawn for day Sonic and the, the sun metal spawn for night Sonic. There will always be two of each in those ones. Uh, the hub where you can select the stages, uh, all four medals are available. Everything else I'll be explaining as I go to it, while I'm doing it. Now for hubs like this, you can obviously go for this medal, but sometimes you'll want to go for another medal. It really just depends how you want to play. No route is set in stone for this game. Um, I feel like the middle route that we have developed through a lot of different any percent through multiple runners um, is... I don't want to say close to perfection, but it's getting to that point, I feel. Also, just as a side note, you'll want to be making sure to just kill as many robots as you can, because the XP that they're giving you will chase after you. You don't have to stop. But it'll come to you. That's perfect. Because you'll be wanting a lot of XP in this run, at least 8 levels when you're getting into Chun Man. Everything from my movement is pretty simple, just... You can be using the homing attack a lot early before you get the... Um, actual air boost upgrade. Again, going out of my way to make sure those two robots get it. Because I've got one bar of EXP now. And that'll go to strength for the warehouse. It just speeds up night stages greatly. You don't have to worry about rings or anything, that's not important for this run. Most stuff like quick time events will actually slow down your timer in real time. Okay. I've missed a sun medal here, so I'll be quickly back checking for that. But like I was saying for the quick time events, that'll be slowing down your timer in real time. Meanwhile, it doesn't matter much in game. So you want to be avoiding those as much as you can. Meanwhile that one is just mandatory and taking the top path is faster. You can skip it but there are spikes at the bottom path so it's a half risk half reward type deal. 
chucked it. Strength, back to the hub. For most Werehog hubs, you'll want to be collecting the sub medals that they provide. Uh, the total number of medals you need are 120 sun and 80 moon. You can be a lot more lenient on the moon. Like, if you miss one or two, it's not the end of the run. Uh, with the sun medal, you definitely want to try get a backup as soon as possible to make sure you're on track. There are cyber levels in Frontiers. That's interesting to know. Um, skipping that cutscene, holding run and holding forward on the analog stick, you might want to do a up left sort of angle, will allow you to get that small skip in that cutscene, which saves life. Enough time to matter. Not enough time to matter to restart, but enough time to be important to know. I go for the metal here to let a lot of these enemies just line up, and then I go do that. You want to pr prioritize the enemies that have a longer animation when they die, because you don't want them just standing and falling over. You want to make sure they're knocked over so their death like, immediately activates. Yo, Lost Legs. Just doing what I can. Unleashing Styles levels. Interesting. I'm going to do the lever for this one. Uh, in my any percent PB, I do a different sort of skip, but you don't need to worry about that. You just want to be fast here. Doing that lever immediately doesn't lose too much time, but it's just something to make note of if you want to... You know, as the kids say, go fast. Do kids play this game? Probably. They probably do. Other than just doing the necessary fights, hitting the necessary buttons. Did I miss in the middle? No, I think I'm alright. Getting the necessary medals, doing the necessary fights. Um, Weehog levels are pretty basic. As I said earlier, you want to make use of... Um, Lining all the enemies up to use the heavy attack to knock them all out, out at once. Those flying enemies especially can be annoying. Okay, so you have the option of opening the door that I just opened or doing a go-through wall. You have a chance of going through the floor and you'd have to restart the whole stage and... To me, that's pretty much a dead run because why would you keep that sort of time loss that early? But why would you be going for that trick unless you were trying to go for a real fast time, you know? So this is the, no the this is the movement that I do here, uh, just through opening it. All these enemies, the good majority of these doors won't be here, but you'd have to do another two go through walls because the keys are not there. Uh, I also slightly mis mixed up all medals just now, but we're still good. I feel I missed a moon medal somewhere, but like I said earlier, moon medals don't really matter too much compared to sun medals. My sun medals is good, and that's all that matters. For this fight here, you want to take out the enemy. You'll want a quick time event the Titan because you'll get an extra level or two of experience worth from doing that compared to just um beating them up normally with small enemies like this it doesn't matter too much the the amount they give compared to the time it would take to doing all of them isn't worth 
you want to end with six, but any more is a bit preferred. After this, you want to go to combat level five for the aerial attack, and you can put the rest in strength for here. And what I like to do is I like to save all the EXP for now until I get to Chun Nam for the infinite EXP glitch. Because you'll at least need eight bars, and I don't know how Sharu gets ten. I just barely make eight. I don't know. There must be a fight he's doing that I'm not. Alright, now is the best part of the run, Tornado Defense, where you can just do anything and not really worry too much. Is that, is that going to my right mic? It is. I mean, I could... I could boost it up a bit, but it also hears my controller quite a bit. But that's what I try to avoid. It's a very difficult balance to get. Yo, what's up, JD? I just l did listen back before. I guess it just depends what kind of headset you have. I can hear myself perfectly fine. I can hear myself perfectly fine when I listen back, but I have had other people tell me that it is a bit difficult to hear me. Yeah, I guess I can boost it up a bit. I'll actually do it in just a second. Yo, Python. Hello. Thank you for the resub with Prime Gaming for four months. I appreciate it. Wait, I pressed the wrong button? That's crazy. Yo, AJ. How are we all doing? your birthday today well i'm sorry to tell you that my time zone indicate wait is it the 31st for you because if so it is still your birthday for me but nonetheless happy birthday i hope you've had a good day <laughs> not my sponsored stream no python we're done with that we we, we we got we got our goals done and now i'll be able to afford that sweet sweet capture card at the end of, um, like the last week of March, uh, April. So first March. Okay, so it's still, it's still the 31st for me for another month, another hour. Wow, I'm tired. Stumbling my words. But yeah, happy birthday. I'll bump up my mic just a small bit. Whoa. Okay, there we go. So bye. <laughs> no, I haven't watched it, nor do I really care. <laughs> I like how you just assume that. This is why I hate Sonic Fat. <laughs> no, it's okay. Can't make any shot to run. Yo, best of luck with your run. What time are you aiming for? Yeah, give it another month or so. I don't remember when my um Daylight savings is supposed to hit. It'll be soon though. Because I remember seeing someone freak out about loot, like, people overseas freaking out about daylight savings, and I was like, what? I 
I was concerned. It's just like, we're losing time this soon already? That's tragic. First run of it? Yo, best of luck. Honestly, you'd probably do better than me. Alright, now that we're done with the auto scroller section of the game, we only have one later and that's Tornado Defense Hack 2. But we got a lot more of explaining stuff to do in between then. So Spagonia has three medals you can collect immediately. Uh, the fourth one will open up later on, but you'll be collecting the medals later on. You don't need them immediately since they're moon medals. You're also able to move right as the music starts there. So, it's just nice to know. Just nice to do. You just go as fast as you can. And that's the goal here. Okay, so there's, from what I remember, three NPCs that will tell you where Professor Pickle is. Uh, the boy there is the one with the least amount of text, text boxes to him. Not to mention perfectly, like, just down the lane from Tails. So with two to three good homing attacks, you'll be able to get to Tails pretty quickly. So it's just best to go for him. You get the medals. Make your way to Savannah Slitter all night. To make that jump, you jump. I don't know, you think I wouldn't need to explain this, but I literally got asked one time, how do I jump in boost? And like in this video, I'm just like, you just jump in boost? Like, hello? <laughs> well, I don't understand the question. <laughs> I was, I was definitely perplexed, that's for sure. Alright, grab the two medals, grab the box. Come over here, press the jump. Yeah, like, it... Like, I was so, I was so baffled by that question. I just had no good response. Um, coming over here, you want to do XXA, then YYA to land on this. You can do a double jump there. You want to make sure you're pushing against the wall. Uh, doing the jump there will... 100% um, guarantee Sonic will actually lock onto that pole because it can be a bit iffy sometimes Make your way over here to press this button Struggle to collect the metal like me as long as you run through the room like this and start on the door immediately You shouldn't have to worry about the enemies Now we beat them up the combo I'm using, Donkey Kick combo, you don't have this in the first stage. You get it during the level up to level 5. Uh, YYXXX. Yeah. The damage it does is pretty... is real good compared to just spamming the heavy attack. Um, not to mention, every enemy, whether it be a robot or a Dark Gaia entity enemy, um, will always have the weak point being their bag. So, in my opinion, it's just always better to go for their bag. Just kills them faster. And everything else is pretty much just movement. movement while collecting medals along the way. You want to make sure to land there because the trigger's there. If you go on any further, uh, you'll just skip the trigger, d not spawning in those two enemies. Just nice to know these sort of things. Enemies have the weak points in the game. Yep, even the titans. That's why in pretty much every IL you see um, for a werehog, we always run to the back. So you want to clear out the enemies in this room because it'll be, it's pretty much impossible to actually turn this lever. 
while the plants and robots are on you. But it's a good amount of EXP. You'll only want to turn this lever to about the line on the ground. You'll want to line it up with it. That one there. So like that. You don't have to be perfect with it. Uh, there's also another set of attack claws. I prefer to grab it and then I just rush over here. Uppercut, aerial. You'll want to wait for a second so you can actually grab the pole. Do some fancy stuff. Aerial attack, XXA or square squared. X? Yes. If you're on PlayStation. Now with attack claws and unleash, and just hitting them at the back, this enemy will always be a bit difficult, but it's nothing too bad. As long as you just do something like this, you should be alright. You want to end with three bars, and that's that. That's that for this stage, at least. I'm gonna save the XP. Going for that eight bars, and we just a lot of cutscenes to go through. Fascinating. Thank you. You just want to hold run. Hello, Auto King. Best NPC. Get the two medals. Uh, you'll be collecting the other two later on. After Rooftop Hunt Night. <clears throat> Quick tutorial here. I'm new at the game. Thank you, Tails. Go to Aptos. Once here, I just immediately hold X. So that way it just starts turning the sun. At its earliest possibility. I let go, and I just mash her. I mash start to skip this cutscene, and I don't move, I just jump immediately. Because if I move and go forward, I will run into one of the NPCs, and they'll engage me in small talk. I don't have time for such things. Such trivial matters. For anyone that's played this game, they'll know how difficult it is going up that sort of ramp. So you just jump on that ramp and go off to the side and the homing attack will take care of the rest. I don't know what it is about trying to go up there, but that was just nigh impossible with this game. You want to do a bit of fancy M speed. And you want to make sure to try at least body as many robots as you can. Uh, you don't have to do this D-speed skip here, but it's up to you. Um, you struggle with that metal for a long time. And you just want to go fast while making sure you collect the medals. I body those robots for the XP. And then do a backwards um, homing attack to collect the medal up here. There's just a lot of small things to this one. That you can do. Like this medal right here. You don't have to collect that. But collecting an extra medal like that. One that you don't expect to collect is always nice. Because while we've got set medals, you also have to be aware of um, a lot of backups here and there. This homing attack trick to the spring, it's pretty difficult, but... You know. We just unleash around the Sonic. Egg Beetle, pretty simple. Collect rings. Um, I will explain... Well, actually, I can just explain now. Yeah. Um... While doing this boss, we do one homing attack. That's because if you keep boosting into him, um, you'll lose four to five seconds. No, maybe four to five seconds? About that much. Ooh, that was a bad one. 
my heart coming off that hunting attack was bad, but this way I can just keep juggling him here and he'll die at the end of my juggle coming up here. Rather than having to go through a whole extra cycle waiting until I can boost into him again. A small thing like this saves like about 4 to 5 seconds. More mashing through result screen. And we've done the first piece of the world? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I don't remember. I go too fast in this game. Some Tails explaining something to me. Brilliant. I don't remember what he's saying. I have to go fast. Coming out into this uh, map world map here, you want to start holding the X button immediately. So once you get to Holoska, it will immediately be day. Two easy moon medals. You can jump into the rings there, so that way you can just mash boost to just get over here quicker. Or do that. Or just straight die. Let's try that again. There we go. Easy as that. Yeah, as you can see, anything can happen in this sort of run. Also, if anyone has any questions about anything in this game, like, anything at all, Ready? now would be a good time to ask. Go. That some metal's difficult. I don't really have any tips for it. Using, um, QSS like that to line yourself up is so much better. But it is a difficult metal. Coming up to the 2D bobsled section, this is just general bobsled tips. If you just hold right and just mash A, for whatever reason the bobsled's hitbox just extends really far and you're able to jump like off anything. Like, it, it's weird. It's like a double jump in a way, but as long as you, yeah, see something like that. As long as you hold um, a lot of speed from the dash pads, you'll just be able to go crazy fast. But it's also a bit difficult. For moments like that, you can do M speed, but if you're not getting M speed, I would just recommend just going fast. Like immediately just stomping in, drift boosting, rather than trying to um, consistently keep trying to get M speed. What's up, Espia? I believe the 60 FPS boost has made it so we can't do the war run um, up to the rainbow ring. That's what we used to do. There are a few things that have been changed thanks to the 60 FPS patch. Uh, rooftop run is the most significant. Now the skit, in my opinion, is just too difficult to actually rely on. Uh, for the bobsled section, you want to get the two moon medals and just make sure to get as many robots as you can for a bit more EXP. Or you could just be like me and try to miss all of them. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm doing here. The mashing the jump button doesn't work in the 3D section. You can carry some speed, but the double jumping doesn't work like it does in a 2D section. I don't understand why.
you want a menu real fast there, so chip talk to you is minimal. You want to come here during day because you'll want to be doing tree skip. At this point um, in the game, if you come here at night, you're going to be getting the the Amy cutscene. There are a lot of different ways to do this tree skip. Uh, my preferred way is just coming over here and homing attacking this tree without touching anything. There are times where Sonic will just go straight over though. Like that. And you want to aim between where those three windows are and where the wall is because there's an there's a invisible wall extending onto the gate there. If you notice it looked like Sonic had something in midair there, that would be that invisible wall. I was going to SPO, but I got um, other things to prioritize, unfortunately. Um, right here, just do a full jump and you'll be able to reach that spring. Homing attack is pretty powerful. Ah, uh, that's... So, gate skip skips you having to be in Werehog form and you have to go see Professor Pickle and then you can come do Rooftop Run Night. So by entering here during day we collect the wall jumping shoes early because when we come to Rooftop Run day we just go to it immediately. Don't need to sidetrack to get the um, wall jumping shoes. Because we'll also get the Amy cutscene once we um, talk to Professor Pickle after this mission. Um, I'd also like to quickly point out, you want to come up onto this awning, double jump against the wall, XXA, that'll skip the battle here, that spawns the, ga the Gaia wall that blocks you from proceeding on. Did I answer anything about what that skipped? I believe I did. You want to go through wall, come over here. Okay, so you want to do two important things, and I'll quickly just break this down. The checkpoint allows a free camera, so you can turn around. You want to push into this corner right here. So that way, everything past this point will load on. Shout out to Brandina for finding it. And you want to come down here. It'll be a bit difficult to judge if you're doing this the first time, but you'll learn this like after some trial and error. And you want to come over here, hit the checkpoint, take a dare. You'll respawn back in. Easy as that, and you've skipped a good majority of the stage already. And now we just come over to Clock Tower. This is all just simple movement, by a lot of what you see right here, you can easily do. You just want to collect medals and everything. Oh, I'd also like to point out that the count for medals in both day and night stages, there's... Oh my god, okay, I'm pretty sure this is the count. Um, three sun and seven moon for day stages, and then there's ten sun and four moon? Ten, ten sun and six moon for night stages. So each day stage in total has 10 medals, and each night stage in total has 16. And each hub, both the town hub and the stage hub, has 4 in total. back to Tropical Resort Act 1. It's alright, more practice, let's go. Alright, Tails is going to give you the camera here, fascinating, you'll just want to run over to the side, anywhere in front of you, it'll trigger this. Mash start again. Best way I've found to do this is to just move a bit to the right, and start doing this attack. It'll at least chain it, 
into a few of those enemies. Um, this is unpredictable. This is unexpected. Usually I like to put Sonic facing one of the tables for a funny camera at the end of the result screen. It's the little things that matter in this run. So at this point, you want to run to see Professor Pickle again. Uh, there will be a sun medal in the vase upcoming here that I collect along the way. Oh, I just walked past it, but I'll show you. I definitely should play colors at some point. I'll definitely do that soon. All right, so this is where the Amy cutscene hit, hits in and you just want to skip all this. It, so in my head, it's a lot quicker to come collect this middle at the end and just quit out rather than sidetracking to collect it earlier on. It doesn't save a lot of time, but it saves a good, like a few seconds, enough to matter. Whoa, I almost ran out. Some metal down below the bridge. Top option, bottom, top option, and bottom option. Top option only has a lot more text at the end for what's the treasure. But both top and bottom option will proceed onward. Um, so I should have actually explained this earlier. When there's an option, like for Professor Pickle, for example, when I'm in the lab and I have to leave you'll see me going to different options before that if you just wait on the one option and try to just mash a or x whatever you're on um it won't work immediately but I found if you move it once like all you have to do is just move it once to a different option and it'll work immediately so I found moving it up and down in the menu is just saving me more time with how much menuing I have to do. There's a lot of different places to go through wall here. You could do it a lot closer. You could even do it from in the building back there. Want to make sure you'll hug the wall so you don't fall off. Jump around the wall, get the move medal, check point of use, die, respawn back into the stage, medal, onward. That was interesting. Are they leaks on it too? Neat. I mean, not neat, but you get the point. Bad cycle. Restarting my run. No, just kidding. All right, I'll show off infinite XP glitch. So there's a lot to it. The first thing I'd like to point out is that the, to start it, you want to be pushing against here. And this line on the ground here, you want to line yourself up with it. Double jump XXA. Ah. Well, I messed that up. But it's good to show that even I can mess it up. Medals, save there, come back to it. Okay, we're not doing that. Um, there could have been a chance that I could have, Sonic could have grabbed the ledge and start lowering down. That would have also stored the win in Sonic. We start run now. Nah. It's not even really a run. It's more just like a tutorial type deal. But I'm just breaking down everything I do in um any percent. I don't know if I will do an actual run. 
I am currently the dying. I have a pinched nerve in the back of my leg. And like for the past four days I've just been in pain. It's tough. But anyway, enough about my dying. Back to the video again. So we just have to get back to the end of um Act 1 night, set up the infinite XP glitch. And just know, even with a mistake like this, where you have to go back in a stage, you can still sub too. Happened to me. I appreciate it, SBO. It's been tough. You need to get it sorted soon before it causes permanent damage. Earliest convenience is next week. <sighs> I was like, I don't want to take a week off streaming. What is this? Alright, as I was saying, pushing against this door and just running up will line you up perfectly. Probably want to be more to the side here. If you have to realign yourself, you want to do, use the shield so that way you can... You're not just running around, uh, losing... Um, a decently good angle. Alright, that one's better. So, I've taken the death here. Uh, my preferred way now is using the launch. So, if I jump here, I'm going to be using the stored win in Sonic. You cannot jump at all until that door is open there. Even if you fall off here, the stored win will activate. So, you have to do a body slam down. But sometimes Sonic doesn't do that, so I've cancelled my uppercut there, so Sonic gets launched forward. And if I do it here, hopefully Sonic cooperates here, and I should be able to get it. I'm going to back up a bit because I'm feeling scared about this. It'll push you against it, and if you've got it correctly, you'll be able to do a body slam down to here. This will be the hardest part of doing this trick. I found that... Um, shield cancel is the best way to do it. You activate the lever, grab an enemy, jump and land. So by landing with an enemy, a naturally spawned enemy, you can't use any enemies from the titan that is spit out. By using a naturally spawned enemy and landing, you are able to have full control during the result screen. You'll want to make sure you don't jump. So before every time I have to use the A button, I press the attack button so it cancels the jump and then I just hold A here and I use X. You can also use B but X is just more convenient there. Uh, this is also a pretty scary trick because you're able to mess it up so easily. And I just hold A and I've got that done and so I let go. I run all the way back down and um, it will be on the quit screen so you want to make sure to press up on the D-pad press B to grab an enemy, jump again, and rinse and repeat. Another result screen will appear, and same thing, you want to keep attacking. It's very important that you don't accidentally jump and lose your state that you're in. Ah, beautiful music. I use this chance to level up one combat, do the strength, and then put it to Unleash. Having a bit of Unleashed is good to have. Same thing, you want to keep going. I put it to Strength now. And this is all we'll be able to do for Strength. So Strength being level 5 is the max we'll want it for now. Oh, that was close. A wasp hit me and knocked the enemy out of my hand. Almost jumped before that. That would have ended the infinite XP glitch. Which has happened to me before. Alright, so once we've got it to 12, at this point, 
You can put it to an extra bar of unleashed if you want, but now is safe to jump because we don't need any more XP. We can use the eight final bars that we have from this one. And by using it here, we'll get to Missile Punch. And we end it there. Obviously the infinite SP glitch is probably the hardest part of the run, but if you've done it successfully, your stats will look like this now. To look so clean on Xbox, are you talking about the quality? I, I have a HD capture card. Um, I am streaming it at like the most I can right now. But I know, but once I get my 60 FPS capture card, it's just going to look even better and smoother with the frames. Alright. Now we can proceed on with the run and explain new things, like how birds aren't real and why you must bring this menace down. So now that you've got all this levels to you, the game doesn't expect you to be able to do this sort of damage. You missile punch once and it'll be going down to the second health bar. Uh, you're not strong enough to fully get to level like phase three of the bird. But as you can see, the second health bar is still constantly dropping while doing this. And so you've just skipped the first stage of this boss and you're on to phase 3 now. You want to collect the medals. By smashing that one there and coming off it, uh, it'll make all of them respawn. While if you stayed on there, um, the other two would respawn. It wouldn't respawn the one up on the platform with you. You want to make sure to not grab the vase before the bird sets up for their attack. Otherwise, they'll just perform a gust attack and just see you flying. Do two light attack. And missile punch, and that'll push it to its death, and you don't have to do the cutscene, the quick time event where you RKO this non existing bird. When I when Infinite EXP Glitch was first found, I honestly only thought it would be viable for Hundo, because the time in all medals, well, going out of your way to get a good amount of XP uh, for all medals was not worth, um, but using the 8 bars that you have there is definitely worth, because it already saves like a minute compared to just doing Dark Eye Phoenix normally. Sorry, I had to pull myself through. Alright. You grab the middle over here. And we headed back to Professor Pickle. That is a wall. Secrets wisdom. Uh, you want to press start and pre like return to village that way. It's just a lot faster than going to the door and being prompted that way. Get, hello? I'm stuck. I don't know what that is. Um, but you want to collect those two medals there. The medals in the hub for Day Sonic, the moon medals, are so easy to get. A lot of them though. The one in Chunnan here, I'll just be skipping. The one to the left um, in the store. The one outside on the water we'll be collecting after. Uh, for me, you don't have to do this, but I like to skip this little cutscene that triggers if you try to go to the spring here. Doing this sort of boost, um, air boost. Only saves like a second, but, you know. Why waste time when you can save time? Ready? Go! Oh. 
was about to say simple day stuff goes fast, but I'm not even doing that. You're able to make it into that um, orange ring if you do a, if you do that sort of movement. You still might be able to without that stomp there. But just not, no, you're not limited to the bottom path once you get there. Uh, also, this stage sucks because of cycles and platforms and Sonic. Not to mention it sucks. You don't have to get the checkpoint here. I always like to try because you never know what will happen. Um, Shoutouts to Frock for showing that that one dash pad will set you up for that sun medal nicely. It's a great thing. Agreed, SBO. I gotta admit, basic runs are real enjoyable to watch. Because basic runs is all about movement rather than even D speed. Don't get me wrong, even D speed runs are cool as well, but oh man, basic runs where you get to actually see like the movement go crazy, it's pretty nice. If you get that homing attack there, you'll have enough height to be able to boost over the head. Um to that platform. It's really a trial and error thing, like you'll learn to be able to judge it for yourself. You want to come over here, there's a lot, I'll actually show off this way, so you want to come over, if you're not going to be using any speed, you can come over to here, jump up here, uh, let me actually see if this works, while jumping into ball form and holding right, you, and air boosting, it should send you onto the platform, um, where you'll be safe, so let me try this, and I just hold right that whole time, I boost, jump here, ball form, and I've made it over. Obviously you don't have to do that, there's the end speed way, but if you're not confident with that, there is the non end speed way which you can do. This is the point of the tutorial, I want to show off a lot of backup ways, so people aren't expected to do the crazy stuff that they'd see in like the record of any percent. Throw one level to dace on it, cause why not? Speed. collect the moon medal and we leave but yeah there's also a lot of, the basic runs as well will also teach you a lot of stuff in terms of how to do skips without end speed it's really quite incredible to watch Alright, we come over to rooftop run, we don't collect rings, we stand on the hourglass here, and we aim just under the rainbow ring. The Sonic will grab onto that rail there. And voila. The pinnacle of Sonic Unleashed stages, rooftop run. Okay, so in the 60 FPS patch, um, the, the rooftop run launch is so much harder Personally, I don't do it. You can do it if you want to. Um, I've, my route also involves these medals now, so... That's just me. But other than that, I will be showing off what I do in the stage and explaining other stuff as well. The big thing I want to explain is the wall running trick. Um, if you're getting hit by an invisible wall when you're trying to do the trick, that is the full 3D section turning into a restricted 3D section. So if you're hitting that, you just need to aim higher. If you're not staying up on the wall enough, you just need to hold right at that point, because that'll be up for that. I missed end speed. I think I'm dead. Yeah. Let me see if I can get this launch, though. 
uh, not the big launch, but a different launch, one that will send you at least a bit further on. Oh, I almost had it. You have to be out of the stage. Um, you have to hit the stage and it will send you flying. I didn't get it, but that's alright. We just do other ways. As you can tell, there's a lot of different skips that aren't really showing off in most categories. I feel like Hundo's the only run that really shows off everything. It does, SBO. But there needs to be skips and all that showing. I lost M speed again? How did I do that? But, but like I said before, you want to make sure that you go fast instead of worrying about hitting in D-Speed all the time. It is good to know, but you definitely want to make sure that you're just going fast, even with basic speed, over failing in D-Speed. I'm actually going to hold the angle now properly. You want to make sure to collect medals as well. I found that landing in the speed pad right there will see you up quite nicely. Yeah, so at the moment I'm holding right to send Sonic up. It is also a bit difficult. Um, if you go too high there, you will hit a kill plane, so be careful. The final middle of the stage that I collect. If you miss the moon middle before the wall ride, there's another there's a backup light later on in the game that you can get. It's it's a moon middle. It's not the biggest loss. Jump air boost to hit that rail guaranteed. I remember that used to be a big problem for a lot of IR runners because um, we would always just miss the rail for some reason. But small little things like that that make it consistent. Uh, the aero chases while on the rail will be half and half. They'll either be on your side or not on your side. Uh, when I say not on your side, like I got lucky there and the middle robot didn't attack my lane, but. That could change. Attacking enemy is optional. You do you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Egg Devil Ray, the two Sun Medals here, kind of important, the three Moon Medals, not as much, but you want to at least try for one minimum. But you also want to go fast. Guys, it just became April Fools for me. Time to stop this run halfway. <laughs> This is a really good start. Um, the boss is a bit RNG in terms of what he'll do. So getting those hits there was real nice. Yeah, so during the juggling, this boss can either get hit once and then we'll put up a shield or get hit a maximum of three times and then put up a shield. But even still after that, once you collect the medals that you need, you'll want to damage boost, 
once you have control, immediately boost and start sidestepping. And with the... It's, it's difficult if you have low speed, but you should be able to hit him again. And at this point, we're just saving up more um, EXP to level up our strength for a later on boss, but everything is pretty good for now in terms of XP. You don't want to go out of your way to collect XP, but you still want to make sure you're collecting XP. Come to Pickle, he tells you to go to Holoska. Now you don't have to here, but I always like to go for hub medals here. just gives me a sense of safety if in case I've missed one or I plan to miss a uh, moon medal. Now the two medals. You always want to be careful around NPCs with jumping. If you get cornered you don't want to jump. I know that will be mostly, including mine. Um, our first reaction, but you'll start talking to them, and you'll just... more sadness. You don't have to kill that enemy, but it just makes this easier. I might get hit here? No. Nah. Luckily, though. Yeah, the... the bit of a... The bigger in dark are enemy there will be a problem, but those three little dudes, not too much of a problem. Uh, College Night is going to be a stage we hear a lot of battle theme of. It's also a stage that requires a lot of, not perfection, but it is immensely difficult. But you can lose time in a lot of places. Um, that barrel jump looks easy, but trust, it is not. Practice makes perfect. You want to come over here. My preferred way now is to uppercut and just make it through. There's a hole in there, and so you'll just be able to drop down and back into the stage when out of bounds. You'll have movement pretty early in these cutscenes. So you always want to make sure you'll be moving instead of just waiting for the camera to turn back to Sonic. Um, so what I do now, thanks to um, the infinite EXP glitch, having drill attack, you want to come up here, aim for that corner, and drill attack down over here, and you'll do a pretty significant skip. You will be skipping a day and a, well, a sun and a moon medal, day and night. So that's why it's always better to go for ones that you can go for when you can, that aren't too out of the way. You can do this room however you want. I prefer doing that uppercut, getting that moon middle as well. The important thing is to do a go through wall. Um, it doesn't matter which side you do, but I prefer this side just so I don't have to do an uppercut onto it. Come over here onto the sledge here. And once you get the go through wall, uh oh. Well, that's fine. Okay, I can't make it around. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, once you get the go through wall here, Sonic will just be on the ledge. And it's just all about movement from here. While well, listening to the fine beats that the game provides. For these two drill attacks coming up, I actually use a visual cue on Sonic. When his arms start shaking, that's when I drill attack. It'll be a bit difficult to notice um, while I'm playing, but when you yourself are playing, you'll be able to notice it a lot easier. It's a very consistent um, visual cue as well, and I've never failed when using it.
here. This is all just about movement. I just like to do this to get the Unleashed to make the final room easier. Uh, you want to make sure you hit the button while facing towards there and doing the fire to save time. You don't want to be watching two cutscenes. Um, while I'm in this room, I'd also like to point out, if you hold B, Sonic will immediately grab any available grabbable um, ledge like this. You don't have to be pressing B, you can just hold it. Same with these ice pillars up here, just holding B. Just whenever you'll be able to grab it. Uh, I hit the lever here to make everything in the final room spawn. There's two sets of attack claws. Come over here. You want to face this wall so that way when you're doing this aerial attack here, you're not being caught up on the wall. <laughs> Aurora, you really caught me off guard there, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I appreciate the hunch bits. I got done spooked real good. I hope you're doing well, friend. Whoa, I got bodied. Doing the aerial attack like this is um, the best way to kill these wizards as long as you have the attack claws. And unleash form. Tomorrow. So you technically mean today because it's the new day for me. But that's exciting. I'm excited for you. Alright, Dark Moray, you have movement immediately. Come collect the moon medal, sun medal, missile punch. Yeah, that's what I said, so today. I'm glad, I'm glad we agree, or Okay, with the current level you have, Three light attacks for the first spot, two heavy attacks for the second spot. You'll want to line up here and block. Did I miss an attack? Did I miss one of those heavy attacks? I'm pretty. That's always consistent. I feel like I must have missed one of those heavy attacks. We will do it again. That today is tomorrow. No, 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 no. You mean it is today? <laughs> okay, three. Two. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that actually, that worked that time. I guess I did miss one of the attacks. Uh, you want to come guard in front. If they're in front of a canister, you can get them to attack and just immediately freeze themselves. Ah, uh, that's rude. I run into this attack to get him to stop it quicker. So that way you can get the slam done. I'll just collect one of the medals here. Don't need the other. Uh, 
So, as you can see, a lot can go wrong with these bosses. A small thing can change into a lot bigger things. Guys, you're making my head hurt now. <laughs> what is happening? Yo, what's up, Shade? Back to the pickle. The best part of the run. You woke up at 4 a.m.? Nice! Time for that chocolate pudding. Nintendogs. Actual gaming. The highest caliber of gaming. Talk to Pickle, he goes to Arid Sands now. Bunch of cutscenes, spam star. I collect all three out of the way moon medals here just because they're easy to collect and it means I don't have to worry about a moon medal in a stage. Get stuck on furniture, very important. I'm going to attack that plant there to get enough height, get that metal, walk away from the explosion that happens because you're too cool to look at it. Uh oh. Help. That was close. Middles. Light ring dashes. Middle, Arid Sands Day. You want to collect the two Sun Medal and five Moon Medals in this stage while going fast. Dude, I miss OG Rugrats. No, actually not OG Rugrats. That thing looked like cur that thing looked cursed. But not as cursed as the pilot episode of Jimmy Neutron. If you haven't seen the pilot episode, just whoa, consider yourself lucky. Games? What? Man, my childhood sucked. <laughs> Some middle there, that's important. For this skip here, you'll want to angle yourself on the right side here. This angle here is, will send you up a lot higher than anything in the middle. You'll be able to skip the 2D trigger. Can hit the checkpoint for safety. Hit the left dash pad. Commence the end speed. Close stuff. That was the good times. Back when gaming, like, there was no expectation for gaming, like, it was hard to be a bad game because, like, almost every game was bad back then. <laughs> Whatever happened to that? No clue. Not familiar. Coming out of Arid Sands, you want to hold the sun to get to. Um, Empire City Night. No. 
Well, thank goodness there was only, like, two boxes of a dialogue there. Accidentally talked to an NPC. Tried it. Talking. Super Smash Flash? What? I've just missed out on stuff. Uh, aerial attack over the wall. Want to make sure you aim this way. Do a drill attack, but I left it way too late. Uh, there's an invisible wall, so you can't go any further. Not to mention, if you go any more to the right, it'll actually push you down. And you won't be able to make it as in grab that uh, beam there. So, I'm just putting that out there. Bunch of movement stuff, bunch of dying, bunch of sadness. The usual rooftop stuff, rooftop run stuff. Sonic Flash game? What? Back in my day, I just played Fancy Pants. And The Last End, the original point and shoot zombie game. Which I actually bought on Steam. Not the. Oh my goodness. I'm too busy reminiscing about Flash games. Who remembers the impossible get anyway? Yo, I beat the impossible game. I don't mean to brag that much. <laughs> and it's because of that game I know how to spell Chihuahua. <laughs> Alright. Aerial attack, you'll make it over this wall. Or not, because I was too far away. Try that again. Grab the moon medal. You'll want to do the switch first. Yeah, go for it, Aurora. See what it is though. <laughs> okay, I'm not not too familiar with that hat, but I trust you. Mistake number one. No, I'm just kidding. Ah, uh, for this trick here, you don't have to do this drill attack, but it saves time compared to actually activating the lever. As long as you get a full sprint jump off that edge there. Um that's that. So for this part here, come land up here, do a drill attack that'll set you far enough away from the invisible wall to get enough height to make that jump as well. Going over both those walls there, um, skips the trigger loading in the electric fence um, upcoming here. Grab these sun metals. Only need to hear part of it. <sighs> Remind me about it later. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's not gonna make it. But on the 60 FPS patch, this, this going over these fences is a lot faster than going around. I do want to quickly try a trick at the end, see if I can make this jump. I haven't tried it since being on the series, and I feel like I could. We need to commence the science. There is science to be had.
That I probably can't make that actually. Yeah, why not? I want to give this a try or two. Because I probably can't make this, but I just want to see. Nah. I'll just do the old usual skip. I almost had 420. That's really what I was aiming for. Once again, still leaving the EXP until we get enough for strength. You want to quit out here because there's nothing else here for you during the night. If you didn't play for six months, well, my account got deleted. Good thing I never made one. Want to collect the three sun medals, talk to Professor Pickle, then make your way to the fourth medal. The fourth medal is so far out of the way that it's just better to collect it and then exit out of the hub. Am I being pranked? Are these games real? What is going on? Coming out of Earth Sands Night, hold the sun immediately to get today, get the medals, go fast. I feel like I haven't really explained a lot in a good second, but I feel like there hasn't really been something for me to explain. Everything is just movement that you see. Uh -oh. Well, I was trying to get the metal up there, but that's fine. Let me go this way. Alright, Espia. You have a good one. Try not to suffer too hard. Ready? Go! I could believe it, Aurora. I just have not heard of these games. I'm um, coming over here before the dash pads. Aim this way. Boost, jump into ball form. Air boost, you'll go over the invisible walls. You'll skip a fair bit. Easy as that. Yo, what up, there, is? Uh, depending on your metal count, you shouldn't need a lot of these. Oh my goodness, these metals. I think two is good enough for me on this sort of run, but Empire City Day is a good place to collect backup moon metals if you need it. Yo, what's up, Max? Uh, quick, interceptor tip, you'll always want to get hit by the bombs instead of by the robot because the bombs will keep your speed while the robot will just kill every ounce of speed that you have. You want to make sure to avoid that, um, the electric line that they throw down, you get hit by it for some reason, but in other versions you don't because you're too fast. That was a bit sketchy, but managed to save that. Those jumps are difficult. Practice makes perfect. Makes Empire City Day. Yo, I'm glad various. I've missed streaming, but I've just been in too much pain to actually stream. I need to go see a physical therapist because I've got a pinch muscle in my leg that has just made me unable to do anything. I almost passed out from the pain earlier today. But I still have to do stuff. It's unfortunate. Anyway, enough about that. 
I'm getting that stuff sorted though. Don't worry about it. But I just wanted to stream since it had been a hot minute. I didn't want to do anything that required too much effort though. That's why I'm doing this sort of stream. Oh. Well, I missed that sort of jump there, but if you stand on this part here, you'll still have enough height to reach that. You got options there. Why don't I have the world record on the day night stages? Why is world record the only thing that matters to you? I literally have every other category record, but you're asking me why I don't have those two? Like, what's wrong with you? I don't... <laughs> I respect the honesty. No, all day stages, um... It was done on 360, so honestly, that's probably a record that I'm never going to beat because the 60 FPS patch. And all night stages, Avi has that run, and I just haven't done all night stages in a while, so maybe I'll do it, but I'm not really too fast. That, ju that just means they are a record. Like, I don't have world record beside all day stages or all night stages because it's not world record but the other ones are uh collect xp jungle draw is pretty simple you don't need to worry about too much um there's nothing too crazy to it no crazy skips here or there there's a neat little skip at the end um Using a ledge grab and using the height from that. Other than that, it's nothing too crazy. It can be, this can be something you fail though, because I failed it like twice in my PV. I was wanting to do some mini percent tonight, but I don't think I'm able to focus, honestly. Even right now, my leg's in a fair bit of pain. But the urge to stream was too great. Come over here, do a ledge jump. I'm pretty sure Brandino did that. It was either Brandino or Brood. Uh, I d it might have been Brood. Unleashed memories are just morphing together. That's how it be. When you get a chance, when you have 15 bars of EXP, you want to upgrade your strength. There have been runs where I haven't had it that early. And I've had to do it after Arid Sands, but the, as soon as you get it, you'll want to put it to strength. Uh, you want to come here during day, because it's quicker to move to the night stage in Day Sonic form, rather than being the Werehog. Even if you have to sit through the extra loading screen here, the time that this saves is about a second or two faster. I haven't actually timed it, but this definitely feels faster than just running with the werehog to this part. Because you have to sidetrack a fair bit. Uh, there's an extra moon medal up here. If you get to this point and you don't have enough moon medals, you only need 80 to get into the stage. This is where the moon medal requirement cuts off. Because after this, all you need is 120 sun to enter Jungle Dried um, Day. And that's pretty much the end of the medals. Ooh. I'm gonna come over here. Do the old it's cheating the dark magic. Someone on my YouTube has been going on every video that's a speed run and telling me I'm cheating because. I've done too many glitches. I'm like, what? Thank you. I do try. Uh, 
Uh, you want to come over here for the middle and the ball of unleash. That'll be helpful against the Titan later on. You either can go through wall at the door, get the cutscene, or you can go through wall here and skip the cutscene. Yeah, as long as you don't run into the door there and get the cutscene, um, getting the two go out of go-through walls is quicker. Dude, various. I respect his effort. Like, that's a lot of videos. It's just like the one time someone disliked exactly 50 of my videos and then stopped. This, this was back when I didn't have, like, a crazy amount of videos. And, like, I was a lot more active on my YouTube. But yeah, exactly 50 videos and they stopped. I was just like, dang. I was not worth that much effort, apparently. Rushing out of April Fool's vid. Man, years ago, I always want to, oh, by the way, use the barrel to get up. Um, Titan at the back, you want to make sure you take out the, the wizard that heals him, blah, 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 video gaming. Um, I wanted to put out an uh, Eggman Land video of Sub 3 back before Sub 3 happened as an uh, April Fool's video. But now we actually have Sub 3. So my joke's useless. <laughs> this is so sad. Alright. Uh, Dark Guardian is more of a puzzle than an actual boss. The best thing I like to do is immediately rush him, get the health down so he's stunned, push this box over to here, and then start working on this box. Being the biggest box, it's the heaviest. As long as you get it past this gate up here, you'll be good. You don't want to immediately put it on, you want to put it as close as you can, like that. You can time those attacks to where it hits um, Dark Guardian as soon as you're able to move. You want to push the box up against the fence there, it'll stop it from coming back up, and then you just push this box over. You can push it if you want, but I'm just going to take him out just to be sure. Oh, well that's unfortunate. That's fine, the fence should lower in a second. If I had put any of the other keys on to take away the boss's health, different different sets, yeah, different sets of fences would spawn, uh, making this a lot harder. So you want to have all of them on there at the same time, so that way they just go through it one by one, like that. When Dark Guardian does this, you want to make sure to stay away from them. You'll get locked into a quick time event that slows down the process of this. There's a bit of a interesting trick where if you get a lock on like that, oh really? I miss I miss the damage. Okay. I saw Shou do that in their run. You can save a lot of time by getting the kill done like that. Maybe I might do that attack. But you can save a bit of time by about 10-15 seconds, if not more, by getting the kill or like the damage through while that while that cutscene for the boss plays. Completely delete this boss from the I wish I could. The IL was annoying. Sorry, the IL is still annoying. My mistake. Alright. Now at this point, you should minimum have 120 sun and 80 moon. The moon doesn't matter anymore, but the sun is what really matters, because that's how we get into the last stage. Once again, if you have any questions about anything, anything at all about this game, feel free to ask. This is the perfect time for it. Yeah. 
So Jungle Drive Day, the final sta day stage that requires medals. So medals are no longer an issue. And now this stage just comes down to how well you know it as an IL. There's a lot of different tricks. I'm going to try go for the 3D and 2D jump. Or 2D and 3D rather. No, 3D and 2D, yeah. Okay. There's a jump there that you can do to avoid the dash pass. Dash pad, but on 60 FPS, it's actually a lot harder. But I would just like to put it out there. Get off me. Okay. Just a bit of fun. If you have that robot and still have the angle of D-speed, you'll for some reason go flying. I don't know why. Uh-oh. My air boost didn't come through in time. That was unfortunate. Oh, I missed the checkpoint. Nice. Yo, I feel that various. I feel like, um, when I want to make a tutorial of sorts, I like have so many things I could go over. But when I actually get to it, I'm just like, uh... Oh, Sonic go fast. Wow. Alright, there we go. And I didn't get the... I pressed that just a bit too late. It's fine. This much happens because Jungle Joy is actually a difficult stage. But it's still a great stage though. You want to make sure you wait because the chase of robots leaving is what will happen. If you try to go onto the water while the chase of robots are still leaving, it's somewhat changing your physics from full um, restricted 3D to full 3D. Um, because of that, Sonic will sink in the water when you touch the water. So if you've ever wondered why you're doing a speedrun of this stage and Sonic just sinks like the heaviest object in the world, that's why. Um, Interceptor Robot here, if you enter here doing full ball jumps, jumping at full height, uh, Sonic's physics will be messed up. Uh, he'll be incredibly slow, you'll have to hit a rail to get Sonic's physics in proper order, to where you'll be able to get these crazy speeds like this. Shout out to Dark Gravity Flame for showing that. Another OG of the game. You want to avoid the quick time event because it takes away from your real time. Doing an IL of the stage, um, that sort of stuff doesn't matter, but for a category like any percent, doing Doing those small things uh, will save a lot more time than you think. Here you can just boost and then jump. You want to make sure to hit the checkpoint while still going fast. If you lose your speed, that's not a problem. Hitting the checkpoint is priority. You shouldn't be dying in the final section, but anything can happen in this video game. Do the skip, just air boost, jump, stomp, back onto the rail, boost, jump, homing attack. Simple. Bit of practice makes perfect type deal. Um, also, one thing I'd quickly like to mention that I should have mentioned earlier, when you have 100 rings in a stage that has an interceptor robot, your physics change even further. There are so many different states that you could be in. 
um, in this video game. You could have chaser physics, non-chaser physics, furthered chaser physics. I just made that name up, but it's a good way to explain it. And then with stomp, you can hold stomp to continuously go from a stomp into a slide, or you can tap stomp to actually stop, like you would in Generations. Not as strong, definitely not as easy. But you can actually stop on a dime on this game, believe it or not. I learned from Sharu's run that it is best to take the damage there and just start boosting. These three quick time events here, even though they say they're random, are consistent. So it will be BXB next time and I'll just be spamming that. Assuming I remember. Hopefully I do. My air boost didn't work there. So this is something that's exclusive to the series console. I don't know if it's 60 FPS related or not, but you can get proper speed while on this wall. If you're not able to attack the robot, just back it up a bit and then just try boosting again. It was BXB? Yeah. This last three is always randomized though. You don't really need EXP for anything, it's just kind of sitting there. Nor does it really matter at this point. You could get more Unleashed um, for the final Titans in Eggman Land. That's the only thing I could really think of that would be a proper use at this point. Speed you can upgrade, but I don't think it's worth. It doesn't make too much of a difference. You're gonna make me do Eggman Land, aren't you? <sighs> sure, why not? <laughs> I've pretty much explained everything about the run though, but I'm gonna like explain Eggman Land stuff as well, I suppose. No point stopping here, might as well explain everything about the run, you know? Didn't even know, I'll probably remember a fancy tip, like the fact that it's impossible to ring attack Eggman Land because it has infinite spawning rings, thanks to the conveyor belt, therefore the score attacks are not valid for it either. <clears throat> the more you know. This is your second break of the run, a good time to chill before things actually get properly serious. Though at this point, truthfully for me, going into my any percent run, I knew I was on Ricky pace. Um, and it terrifies me. And my record, I honestly hate because I did really good in a lot of my stages. I have to play like somewhat perfect until the last 10 minutes of the run. And I'm honestly so sad. This run has turned into one that I hate even more just because of that. But I will do my best to seek out the sub 150. What up, Spud Gun? I feel like I haven't seen you in a hot minute. I hope you've been well, friend. 
Hope life has been treating you well. Or maybe I have seen you recently and time, it feels like it's just been a long time. There's not really much to explain with um, Tornado Defense 2. Just enjoy the music. Press the buttons. Dissertation? Oh, I've... Oh, I'm blanking on that word. It's not a word I use often. <laughs> So you're in pain, how am I? Oh, it's still in pain. Uh, turns out it's a pinch nerve in my leg, and yeah. I'm going to have to go see a physical therapist to make sure that they can look at me and be like, yep, we can save your leg. Because I, I walked earlier today um, to like the home appliance and electronics store to get a like small little massager for my for the back of my leg a walk that should have taken me half an hour took me an hour and a half i almost fainted twice and it wasn't even pain that was in like painful it was just overwhelming Like, I can usually do okay with pain, but this sort of pain was just, like, unbearable. So, it's tough. Oh, you're good, Spud. There's already a small bit of delay on my stream anyway, because of my old Elgato capture card. But yeah, that's why I haven't streamed in like almost a week. Not because of the usual laziness, um, where I just get consumed into a game. I also need to make calls to like... I think it's AA for us? Like, I need to make sure I'm covered, so that way this thing doesn't cost me a crazy amount. Because I don't really have the money for that. Oh, the struggles. Yeah, I, I appreciate it, Spud. I've definitely missed all you lot. That's why I'm streaming here. Like, it's not as bad right now. I, I gave it a... Like, I used the massage thing before stream. I'm slightly dying a bit. But, you know. It is what it is. I can't wait until I'm better, though. What just happened? What just happened? Why did why did that just happen? What what even just happened? No, Spot, I appreciate it and I understand. And I like I appreciate you stopping by. People remembering me, that's more than enough. Yeah, likewise, bud. I appreciate you stopping by. Alright, Eggman Land. I'll explain the skip once I get to that point. Um, so on this rail here, do a hop off it. Air boost over to here. You want to make sure to stomp. you got a good amount of room here. You want to aim about here, but I tilt my end speed a bit. Jump to here and jump again. Do a full jump. And this is how you get bobsled skip. You want to be making sure to hold end speed the whole time. And you don't want to go too fast in this section because you can go flying out. Go. 
You you heard him die. You're talking about during tornado defense, right? I don't know what that was about, but that was interesting. Alright, once you get past that quick time event, you're pretty much safe. The the stress of Bob Sled Skip and having to keep it is over. Drill attack off this. You'll get the prompt to grab that. Werehog is just about movement. Like the more the more you practice Werehog. How hard is the pipe room skip? What specifically about it are you asking? Um, you'll want to make sure for this part here, I'll, I'll quickly go through this again. If, if you push against this wall here, you'll lose height. So you want to come out a bit towards the camera to make sure you're not pushing against any wall to make sure you can make that jump. That jump's a bit scarier, but it seems pretty consistent. Where you skip the entire area is Day Sonic. Very hard. One of the hardest tricks in the game because it's all about skill, no luck involved. Um, for both of them as well, I feel. For both, like the old method and the new method of pipe skip, both are incredibly difficult. The hardest trick in the game, bar none. Alright, shout outs to Grimmy Hunter for showing me this. If you come over here and just hop, hop in air boost, you will consistently be put onto the dash pad there consistently I've only had it fail me once it's a very consistent method and it's great I have to give him credit for that what do you mean work are you talking about work to the pipe skip all right hug this wall here air boost and you get down here Come here for free camera. You don't have to do the skip, but I'm just running through the skip anyway. Jump, air boost, slide, and once Sonic starts turning the corner, you want to jump, and while holding M speed, you'll go flying. Okay, that was a bit too early, but I held M speed though, so that was good. Uh, this is awkward. Since I have no rings, I'm going to take a quick death here. That 3D and 2D glitch. It's a solid one. Yeah, that was that's the alternative 3D and 2D glitch that you can use. Because pipe skip's too difficult, but if you're doing an IL, obviously you will want to use pipe skip. But if you're doing any percent or any other category, pro probably just any percent, this is the strat to use. M speed, you can let go of M speed here. You'll want to make sure you land down here though. Instead of going fast, can just make sure to get rings here. And then QSS through. Go through all here. Alright, and you'll want to make sure you come over here. Do a drill attack because the camera will get caught on this pipe above if you're not careful. So that's why you will drill attack outward onto here. You want to jump, not far out, but far out enough to where that room there with the lava that you just saw me pass to the right. Uh, the kill plane of that room extends out not a crazy amount, but far enough to where you think you'd be safe, and there are some times where you're not. Jump out this way. You'll hit the checkpoint while you're above. I prefer going for the unleashed here and all that, but you can choose to... Do a go through wall and skip it. You can skip the Titan, but you don't have Unleash for the final fight, and that's where I feel like you're missing out. You have the attack wars, but you're missing Unleashed, and Unleashed is... Having them both is a lot better than, rather, than just having one. I would rather have more unleashed than the attack was, truth be told. But that's just my opinion. Like I said, in this in this sort of run, you don't have to do everything that I'm doing exactly the same. I'm just breaking down a lot of what I do, explaining a lot of stuff and whatnot.
and I hope explaining a lot of this has helped at least someone. It's been later. What does that mean? I'm sorry, I don't have your money. I said I'd get it to you soon. Alright, Ed Dragoon, hit him once with the attack clause missile punch, come over here to this part, charge it, let go. That's phase one done. You're absolutely right, War. I did. Do you remember what it is you were supposed to, re I was supposed to be reminded of though? I'd also like to point out every quick time event in this boss is consistent apart from two in phase two. Oh no, I don't remember that or I must be thinking of someone else. Can't you see I'm busy making the worst tutorial of all time? It's crazy that everyone wanted me to make a tutorial for something. I'm terrible at this. Shield here. Charge the punch. This is a very difficult punch to make. If you make that, you'll want to come over to where I'm standing here. Charge the punch. Ah, oh, I was a bit too far to the right, but you get the point of where to stand though. The BYA is consistent, the two quick time events after that is not, but then the last two are. I don't understand this boss. <laughs> this is the only tutorial for the only shit you're watching. You're not getting your money back. That's all I'm saying. Uh, for both Dark Gaia Phoenix, um, Egg Dragoon, wait, no, I don't have the Dark Gaia Phoenix ones. Well, the first one for, no, actually, you don't even need to know that because we skip phase one now. Wow. Um, I will be adding Egg Dragoon, uh, quick time events, the Dark Gaia rock patterns, and the arm phases for Perfect Dark Gaia. What I mean when I say the rock pattern for Dark Gaia is the Colossus section because these rocks that Dark Gaia throws is always consistent, they're always the same. And a lot of people might not know this, but you can actually go up and down while doing this part to avoid some of the rocks. As long as you're staying at the very, like, peak of your height, when you're presented with a wall of rocks like that, there is a 9 out of 10 chance you're able to go underneath it. Yo, what up, Blue Jay? This one's going on YouTube, so leave yourself a future message. <laughs> Remind yourself to do laundry later or something. That's what I do. I just remembered I had to do laundry. This is so sad. A uh, quick little quote-unquote fun fact for this boss, there's two parts, uh, two punches to this boss right here, a fast punch and a slow punch. Don't go crazy, don't listen to Spud. Spud has no power here. Agreed or So true. I love the way you just put it into words. God, you're so smart. 
God, just take me now. I mean, what? <clears throat> um, anyway, um, phase two. It's not the greatest tutorial, Blue Jay. Um, there's still a lot of stuff that I didn't really get to explain, but I feel like I got to cover like a good majority of what I was hoping to cover. All right, so for this part here, a wall of rocks, you just go down and you get hit in the shoulder because that rock is still too high. I need a tutorial for the tutorial. Also sponsored by Ray Shadow Legions. No, we're not sponsored anymore. I'll do another tutorial in the future, Blue Jay, but for now, I've got um, some problems with my body. My body's in a lot of pain, so I'm not going to be streaming for too much longer, and I won't be streaming for the next few days, but I wanted to get one in. It had been a hot minute, and I miss you all. anything I might uh streaming is just difficult to be honest like I can't even sit in my chair without being in pain yo I appreciate that Mark especially since it's a problem where like if I don't take care of this now this could lead to like some serious problems later on in life and by later on I mean like a week later or something Alright, phase three, the most actual worst part of this boss, apart from Perfect Dark Guy. If you're holding boost the whole time, you want to go underneath that set of rocks. You can go to the left, but by the time you... Oh, wait. Oh, wow, I actually dodged that. Um, you won't be able to make it from the left to the right in time. Uh oh. Getting double hit by the laser. That's difficult. That's a tough time. Um, I'm back far enough though to where I can start lowering down now and not get hit by this rock, hopefully. Cool. And now there's one more to the Yep, cool. Nah, Blue Jay, don't say that. This game's just difficult to run, like... Because most people would think this game is, like, just about speed, but for any percent, it's honestly, like, 60% collection. 60 to 70% collection, 30% speed. That's really what this run is. Yo, Spot, have a good one. I appreciate you stopping by. Undodgeable lasers are great. The finest that we have to offer in this industry. failed in speed there definitely want to make sure to go to the right side there so that um tentacle doesn't hit you doing a boost full jump into an air boost at the end part there makes that part so much easier it's still a difficult part though and i honestly can't blame anyone if they do die there Alright, we mash start because, you know, if you're not going to see Professor Pickle, you're mashing start. That's just how this video game is. A 
practice makes perfect, Blue Jay. I do explain it a bit in this video, this tutorial, quote unquote. Um, but honestly, a lot of it just comes down to practice. But you will get it, and then as time goes on, you'll be a lot smoother with it, just doing it like like it's nothing at all. Alright, let's see if we can get this damage list. So the only thing that's worth noting about Perfect Dark Gaia is that the snakes are on a random cycle. Um, so I'm pretty sure the snake to the left of me will pull itself back into the shelf for protection once I get close to it. Actually, I could be wrong. I think it's going to appear out in a second now. Okay. So that just goes to prove I don't know anything. <laughs> But no, these snakes are random. The cycle they're on. I'm trying to do this damage list. Okay. I don't need to know he's about to shoot the laser. Come on, game. Well, I might as well just do this fast now. You do a circle there, you form the little... Um, sort of effect that can happen. Yeah, but it's not a good tutorial, Blue Jay. I feel like I didn't really answer a lot of questions, but I feel like I addressed the important things, to say the least. Add a controller overlay. I'm playing on console. I like I can, but adding a controller overlay is incredibly difficult for a game that you're not playing on PC. Like, it would be a good thing to have, you're not wrong, but it, it would be a bit difficult and I'm not very really smart when it comes to setting up stuff like that. I'd have to get my, P like, my controller running through my PC and my console at the same time, wouldn't I? I'm pretty sure, something like that. Yeah, those quick time events were also scripted. So, Egg Dragoon, apart from the two, and the arm stuff. That's all consistent as well, the arm phase. Uh, if you made it this far in the video, good job, proud of you. Make sure to comment the secret word down below. The secret word is D's. No, I'm just kidding. Have you done no XP run? Yeah, I've got like two and a half hours of speed run of it because it's actually easy. Like, no XP run is not as hard as people make it out to be, to be honest. Or maybe I'm just like unfairly good at this game. <laughs> That might be it. Do no XP XP damage list? Okay. I can't even do XP damage list. Besides, making it to Chun Nan damage list is kind of impressive. I can still make it further, but God, there's so much that hits you in Chun Nan. Uh, 
All right, I'm gonna show off my new favorite thing about this cutscene. And then I think I will end it here. Just had some done death. It, it does drag on, but it's really not as hard as I thought it would be. Like, it's just the lack of tricks that you don't have access to. Okay, where is it? These NPCs in the background behind Amy will, yeah, these two right here will literally teleport right in front of Amy in a second. Watch right here. In the background, you might have missed it, but they teleport in front of Amy because they were behind and now they're in front right there. It's, it, I only noticed that after nine years of playing this game. I was like, wait a second. This game really truly has it all, you know? Yeah, I agree, Blue Jay. It just, if you're used to playing with all your combos and power and all that, it's more tedious than hard, if anything. Sonic is dead. <laughs> 